Susan Eisenhower, How Ike Led, The Principles Behind Eisenhower's Biggest Decisions In a How Ike Led, The Principles Behind Eisenhower's Biggest Decisions, Susan Eisenhower offers readers a glimpse into the life of her grandfather, Dwight D. Eisenhower, a man who was deeply complex, both as a general and as a two-term president of the United States. The book delves into the qualities and characteristics that made Ike an exceptional leader, such as his sense of duty, self-sacrifice, and strong will. The author also draws parallels between Ike and former President Ulysses S. Grant, highlighting the role of West Point in shaping their lives and vocations. In this book summary, readers will explore Ike's life, his political views, his approach to civil rights, and his key moments in history. The Complex Reality of President Eisenhower Susan Eisenhower's book explores the nuanced and multifaceted persona of her grandfather, former president and military leader, Dwight D. Ike Eisenhower. Avoiding hagiography, Susan provides a unique insight into Ike's complexities and the historical context of his time. Despite his health issues, Eisenhower demonstrated responsible and humble leadership, always striving towards a higher purpose and a better future. Personal memories from Susan add to the book's portrayal of this pivotal figure. Eisenhower's Sense of Responsibility Before the D-Day invasion, General Dwight D. Eisenhower wrote notes to each group involved, to be read only if the mission failed. He took full responsibility for any failure, highlighting his sense of accountability. In the book, the author commends Eisenhower for his public stance on responsibility. Ike's Leadership Style Ms. Eisenhower's biography of her grandfather highlights his strength of will, self-control, and compassion. Displaying emotions or relying on others was a sign of vulnerability and weakness for Ike. His ability to master his passions was pivotal to his leadership as a general and as president, even though he struggled to control his conflicted emotional life. Overall, his greatest value as a leader was overcoming personal struggles and heart-numbing pain in private. The Origin of Eisenhower's Sense of Duty Ms. Eisenhower draws a parallel between Ulysses S. Grant and Ike's attendance at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point due to the cost factor and their lack of interest in a military career. The author argues that Eisenhower's higher form of duty, based on selflessness and self-sacrifice, was ingrained in his DNA, and he owed it to West Point. Ms. Eisenhower claims that Ike's sense of vocation and duty aligned with his lack of egoism, a quality that drove him toward self-sacrifice. Ike's Humanity in the Aftermath of World War II In 1945, Dwight D. Eisenhower became the U.S. Army's chief of staff, and his wife was blown away by his humane leadership. She praised him for paying special attention to Holocaust survivors and ensuring that a Jewish consultant helped them navigate the camps. Ike also tasked the army with keeping him updated on the situation. Eisenhower's Reluctant Political Ascent Ms. Eisenhower's book highlights the political maneuverings that took place even before the end of WW2 to push her husband, Eisenhower, into running for the presidency. Despite his reluctance, Democratic Party leaders urged him to run, and even President Truman indicated he wouldn't run for re-election if Eisenhower chose to do so. His political views and party affiliation remained vague when he eventually ran and won the presidency in 1952. The Middle Way Ms. Eisenhower's portrayal of President Eisenhower as a Republican with progressive views who believed in a balanced approach to governance, which he called the Middle Way. During his first term, Ike expanded Social Security and achieved a balanced budget. He also believed that Supreme Court appointees should include Democrats and Republicans, appointing a historically progressive justice who was a Democrat. Eisenhower's Stance on McCarthyism In her book, the author offers a rather charitable view of her grandfather, President Dwight D. Eisenhower, for not taking down Senator Joseph McCarthy's shameful witch-hunt tactics. Instead of calling Ike's inaction cowardice, the author depicts him as a tolerant leader who refused to waste time in futile political battles. Soviet Suppression of Hungary 
In her book, Ms. Eisenhower sheds light on the tragic events of the Soviet Union's brutal crushing of Hungary's democratic uprising in which numerous individuals lost their lives. The author highlights the fact that the United States couldn't intervene due to the surrounded Hungarian borders by Soviet-based and non-aligned nations. However, the U.S. government prioritized Hungarian refugees seeking asylum in the U.S. as a way of offering their support. Ike's Role in Civil Rights Learn about President Eisenhower's efforts to advance civil rights in 1957, including the establishment of a civil rights division in sending troops to Little Rock, Arkansas. Ms. Eisenhower emphasizes President Eisenhower's commitment to advancing civil rights, including his proposal of legislation and the founding of a civil rights division in the U.S. Justice Department. The most notable of his efforts was sending the 101st Airborne, which had previously served in the Normandy invasion, to Little Rock, Arkansas, to ensure the integration of schools in September 1957. A Love Story in the Time of Cold War Susan Eisenhower's Breaking Free tells the story of her risky and dramatic love affair with Russian physicist Roald Sagdiev during the Cold War. This remarkable memoir describes their secret of romance and the unique challenges they faced as citizens of rival world powers. Breaking Free reveals the power of love to cross cultures and bridge political divides, even under the most challenging circumstances. Susan Eisenhower's masterful storytelling will captivate readers with its emotional depth and historical significance, shedding light on the human side of one of the last century's most significant global conflicts. Susan Eisenhower's book provides an insightful and personal look into the leadership qualities, struggles, and accomplishments of Dwight D. Eisenhower. Throughout his life, Ike maintained a strong sense of duty and self-sacrifice that stemmed from his West Point education, which greatly influenced his decisions as a military leader and president. Notable actions during his presidency include expanding social security, advocating for bipartisan Supreme Court appointments, and sending troops to ensure the integration of schools in Little Rock, Arkansas. Through this portrait, readers can appreciate the complexity and humanity of a man who led with humility, self-control, and compassion, 